Jennifer Grey offers some insight into her short-lived romance with Johnny Depp in her new memoir, according to excerpts obtained by The Independent. The Dirty Dancing star describes Depp in her upcoming book Out of the Corner as crazy jealous and paranoid with an ill temper, according to the outlet. According to The Independent, Gray writes in her book that she was set up with Depp by her agent in 1989, two years after the release of Dirty Dancing, and as Depp was starring in 21 Jump Street. The show helped propel Depp into fame, in 1990, Depp would go on to star in Edward Scissorhands. We ate, talked, drank Jack Daniels, laughed our asses off, took cigarette breaks mid-course, Gray wrote about their first date, per the outlet. He was so ridiculously beautiful. And surprisingly open, funny, quirky and sweet. According to Gray, Depp proposed to her within two weeks of meeting her. But their relationship quickly became complicated. Johnny was commuting every week back and forth from Vancouver, but had begun more and more regularly to be getting into trouble, fights in bars, skirmishes with cops, she wrote, according to The Independent. He'd started missing his flights home to LA having overslept or, when he did come home, he'd be crazy jealous and paranoid about what I'd been up to while he was gone. I attributed his ill temper and unhappiness to him feeling miserable and powerless to get off 21 Jump Street. Gray broke her off her engagement with Depp just before her 29th birthday, after he left for a meeting and didn't come back or contact her for many hours. The news of Gray's description of Depp in her memoir comes amid the Pirates of the Caribbean star's defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. Depp is suing Heard over a 2018 Washington Post op-ed by Heard in which she referred to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. Heard did not name Depp in the op-ed, but Depp claims it is defamatory because it refers to previous accusations Heard made when she sought a restraining order against him in 2016. Depp has denied the abuse allegations. HuffPost has reached out to Depp for comment, but did not receive an immediate response, 